I think what lives in streams is kind of hidden until we look just a little bit more. When you pick up a little sample, you can see this incredible variety of adaptation to living in flowing water. Oh, uh, I got a crayfish on this one. I've always liked insects, um, small things. I like looking at the very fine detail. When I was a little girl, I loved dinking around in the streams and in the forests. I like being able to identify what I was looking at. It's just curiosity. Oh, we got a good heptogenia in here. So I had an interest in biology. The high school counselor was incredulous that I wanted to take those classes because they weren't for girls. But I was determined. And I said, but, but this is what I really love. So I persisted. When you put that net in the water, if you've never seen them before, there'll be insects of many different sizes, ways of making their way around in the stream. Some of them can crawl, some of them can't. And there's so much variety that you never run out of things to look at or questions to ask. Uh, a pupated dico. I think a lot of biologists find a particular animal that, for which they have great passion. Excellent, excellent. Oh, look at him. Caddisflies provide us an example of the diversity of biota. The thing that they've got going is that they have silk that they can use to build cases. They're adapted to different situations. There's the ones that are built to hang out in the flow and filter the little bits coming by. And then there, there are others, their little rocky cases are ballast so they can hang in the flow and they can crawl around and get out onto bedrock and eat the algae. Then there's the ones that build nets to filter the food. The diversity among them is remarkable. Not seeing all those big caddis out on the surface. As I was winding down my research, I thought that there was another audience out there that needed to learn about the science that we have. And so I edited a couple of books that were for adults. But I had always had, I guess, way in the back of my mind that it'd be fun to write a children's book that I would have liked as a child and show them how to ask questions so that they can develop an answer to it. Sometimes it's hard to see what's right in front of our face. And everybody lives in a watershed. So there's a stream somewhere. And if folks recognize that they can make a difference in what happens to the streams around them, it enriches our lives entirely by having people who see things through different lenses. The way we look at things because of where we've been give us many more tools to address questions and to enjoy life.